a common core of common sense. You know, we're the party of common sense. We want to have borders. We want to have security. We want to have things be good, safe. We want good education. We want a strong and powerful military, and ideally, we don't have to use it. You know, we had no wars. Four years, we had no wars, except we defeated ISIS. We defeated ISIS in record time. And, but we had no wars. They said, he will start a war. I'm not going to start a war. I'm going to stop wars. But this is also a massive victory for democracy and for freedom. Together, we're going to unlock America's glorious destiny. We're going to achieve the most incredible future for our people. Yesterday, as I stood at my last stop on the campaign trail, I'll never be doing a rally again. Can you believe it? I think we've done 900 rallies approximately from them. Can you imagine? 900, 901, something, a lot of rallies. And it was sad. Everybody was sad. Many people, I said, this is our last rally. But now we're going on to something that's far more important because the rallies were used for us to put be put in this position where we can really help our country. That's what we're going to do. We're going to make our country better than it ever has been. And I said that many people have told me that God spared my life for a reason. And that reason was to save our country and to restore America to greatness. And now we are going to fulfill that mission together. We're going to fulfill that mission. The task before us will not be easy, but I will bring every ounce of energy, spirit, and fight that I have in my soul to the job that you've entrusted to me. This is a great job. There's no job like this. This is the most important job in the world. Just as I did in my first term, we had a great first term, my great, great first term. I will govern by a simple motto. Promises made, promises kept. We're going to keep our promise. Nothing will stop me from keeping my word to you, the people. We will make America safe, strong, prosperous, powerful, and free again. And I'm asking every citizen all across our land to join me in this noble and righteous endeavor. That's what it is. It's time to put the divisions of the past four years behind us. It's time to unite. And we're going to try. We're going to try. We have to try. And it's going to happen. Success will bring us together. I've seen that. I've seen that. I saw that in the first term when we became more and more successful. People started coming together. Success is going to bring us together. And we are going to start by all putting America first. We have to put our country first for at least a period of time. We have to fix it. Because together we can truly make America great again for all Americans. So I want to just tell you what a great honor this is. I want to thank you. I will not let you down. America's future will be bigger, better, bolder, richer, safer, and stronger than it has ever been before. God bless you, and God bless America. Thank you very much. Donald J. Trump, the man who will be the 47th president of the United States in West Palm Beach at the convention center, he's going to make America great again for all Americans. Uh, said God spared his life for a reason in those two assassination attempts. He said promises made, promises kept. And he has a big agenda ahead. He thanked a lot of people on that stage and said success will bring us together. Uh, trying to bring the country together after what is a bruising, damaging, very vitriolic campaign that comes to an end with this massive win. He praised a lot of people, including Elon Musk, who he called a new star, uh, up and comer. That guy. He's, he's, I mean, I've heard that. He's an up and cover. Uh, he he went out about the rocket for a while. He did. Um, wow, there he is did the dismount, and now he goes on to be president elect.
of the United States. Oh, yeah. Once again, it's an extraordinary story. Oh, we got an freedom now. Phenomenal oh, political yes, comeback do. for Donald J. Trump, who will be now. the 47th president of the United States uh, when he is inaugurated on January the 20th, and he said that God spared him from those assassination attempts in God order to lead everyone. the country. He said success Much will bring us together, Trump and he said it's an honor, and he thanked everyone involved and thanked the American people God bless for tonight's outcome. We have no God bless Trump. That Vice President Harris has God made a phone call. Uh, we're trying America. to get confirmation that there has been any concession. We don't